Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us here today. What a great day to be in Virginia Beach. Then again, every day is a good day to be in Virginia Beach, isn't it? We were almost a quarter of a way into 2023. In case you haven't heard, Virginia Beach is celebrating its 60th anniversary. Quite a lot happening. But let me say right off the bat that I would like to introduce our tremendous city manager, Patrick Dehaney. You know, it's been a quarter century. It's been a long time, 60 years. Even more will take place as we look forward to embark on our next 60 years. Again this year, I am thrilled to deliver the state of the city alongside our city manager, Patrick Dehaney. Since joining us during the height of the pandemic, barely three years ago, Patrick led our city organization through one of the most challenging and eventful periods in our recent history. Patrick? Thank you, Mayor Dyer. And yes, the last 60 years has been full of Virginia Beach history, and we've made significant impacts not only locally, but regionally and beyond. In the lead up to this year, all throughout 2022, we took a look back at the history of this great city and paid honor to many of the individuals that were instrumental in, for, in forging the success of Virginia Beach and were key to making our city what it is today. The sun rises with Virginia Beach. In 2023, we will approach each day in a new, thoughtful, intentional way. Tell me what you want to be. We illuminate innovative ideas about who we want to be as individuals, as a multicultural community, as professionals. Our clean, healthy waterways connect us all. We find belonging and connection with each other. In 2023, we celebrate our surroundings, our parks, our open spaces, our culture, our quality of life. Sustainability drives us. 60 years strong. This is the city of Virginia Beach. We've already kicked off some exciting and unique ways to mark our 60th anniversary. And we're going to keep the momentum going and continue the celebrations throughout the rest of the year. So stay tuned for more information on how you can join and join and be part of the celebration. In conjunction with the city 60th anniversary this year, the city also has refreshed our visual identity. A brand is how people perceive your organization. It's what they think of you, how they feel about you, and why they support you. What a better way to commemorate this milestone year than through the creation of a special 60th anniversary logo as part of the city's branding refresh efforts. The elements of our updated logo represent the interconnectivity of more than 450,000 residents, city staff, our multicultural neighborhoods, and our military communities. Gold and orange represent the sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean, an opportunity to start each day refreshed and renewed. Blue represents the miles of clean, healthy waterways that connect and inspire us. Green represents our abundant natural resources and agricultural areas, as well as our vast recreational offerings. We invite local businesses to use the 60th anniversary logo on their promotional signage, restaurant menus, retail specials, and more to attract consumer interest. As we celebrate our anniversary and look forward to all the exciting opportunities that lay before us, I want to acknowledge some very special people who have inspired me with their sincere love for Virginia Beach and their unwavering commitment to uplift those around and help initiate something that you're gonna hear me talk about later. Team LAM stands for Tell Everyone Around Me Love All My Brothers. After experiencing the loss of their friend, 
Cordero Lamb Simpkins to gun violence. David Israel Leader, Ed Walls, and Michael Walls founded Team Lamb on the mission to combat gun violence by spreading peace, unity, and positivity. Through cultivating community events, mentorship, and fashion, the team has made an incredibly positive impact by partnering with the city to hope meaningful community events during the Something in the Water Festival and the celebration of the Juneteenth holiday. And they'll be doing it again this year. And my friend, Ronnie Mac McAdoo, is the founder and director of One Died for All Sports Ministry of Trinity Church, which was started in his backyard after he received a vision from God of how to use the game of basketball as a platform to reach kids, kids and share the gospel with them. Since 2016, Mac and his wife, Janet, have been traveling all over the world using the platform of sports to introduce the gospel. To date, more than 6,500 kids attended their camps. That's tremendous. <laughs> Danette Crawford is a powerful speaker, author, television host, evangelist, and founder of Joy Ministries, which offers educational and mentoring programs and support and assistance for youth, families, and single mothers in need. The heart of everything she does is to change lives and assist others with overcoming life's challenges that they may be exp experiencing. Through her programs, the Net has provided over $60,000 worth of food to families, provide traditional transitional housing to single mothers, and graduated more than 1,300 children through their summer reading camps. These individuals have truly impressed me with all the work they continue to do year after year throughout this city and throughout Hampton Roads. And I'm gonna ask Team Lamb, the McAdoos, and Danette to please stand up and be recognized. The wonderful example set by these individuals has inspired me to create a new effort which we kicked off in the 60th anniversary year. It's the HOPE Initiative, which stands for Helping Our People Excel. The initiative seeks to recognize and support those who are committed to making their community and Virginia Beach even better, an even better place through certification program and cross-group networking. At the beginning of the, this year, we invited individuals, community groups, faith-based organizations, and corporate entities to apply to participate in the HOPE initiative. Through this program, we want to develop a cadre of individuals and groups to co collaborate with each other on an ongoing basis to move forward their efforts to positively impact their communities. From all the applications we've received, three standouts were chosen to be the 2023 Champions of Hope. And today, I'd like to introduce them to you. Our individual Champion of Hope honoree is Batrice Butler Brown. All, all on her own. Patrice began going out in the community to provide snacks to, to everyone she met that was in need. She found that something as simple as a small snack can go a long way in improving a person's mood. These interactions all gave, uh, also give Patrice an opportunity to engage with people she meets to hear their stories. If there's a way that she can assist someone, Patrice never hesitates to do so with her assistance of her network of helpers. Remarkable. Our community group of Champions of Hope honorees is Girls on the Run, Hampton Roads. <laughs> Girls on the Run, led by Executive Director Ellen Carver, offers after-school youth programs, development programs for girls throughout Hampton Roads. They teach young girls 
critical life skills and inspire them to strengthen their confidence through interactive lessons and physical activity. Their mission is to empower girls to be joyful, healthy, and confident while create, create, creatively integrating running as a free and accessible form of stress release. And our corporate champion of hope is Sprouty LLC. Led by Stephanie Sprouty LLC, clinical and behavior skills training, individual and staff consultation, and mentoring support for the practitioners in the behavioral health field. The training provide, provided readies behavioral health care professionals to meet the complex challenges faced while, while providing effective treatment process to those in needy, needing that help. Each of these honorees represents the best in the community partnerships, and we're honored to have them as our 2023 Champions of Hope this inaugural year. We thank you all for everything you do with our Champions of Hope. Please stand up and be recognized. Through the HOPE initiative, we are reckoning those, recognizing those who are making their community and city an even better place for everyone. We're building a strong network across the city to support those who are doing amazing things and provide opportunity for them to connect and partner with, with each other for even a greater impact. If you have a business, a nonprofit of faith organization that's doing work in the community or individually doing work on your own. Consider us and join in the HOPE initiative because together we can accomplish so much. As the city moves forward into a new era of continued public service, last May, we also moved into our new city hall. In the fall, we officially welcomed the public into the new city hall building and held an open house style building dedication ceremony to mark the event. This 135,000 square foot state of the art facility is fully outfitted with the proper amount of space, technological equipment to provide the best possible service for service delivery every day. The new council chambers were built to accommodate even more members of the public. And we invite you to participate in our public meetings and all the activities of your local government body. And this is as good a time as any to recognize our Virginia Beach City Council members. I'd like to thank all of you for your commitment to our city and your dedication to public service. Patrick and I look forward to continued work with you in the months and years ahead. City Council members, my friends and colleagues, will you please stand and be recognized? We'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge someone else who dedicated many years of his life to serving this city as former mayor, vice mayor, and council representative for the Bayside District, Councilman Lewis Jones, who we lost suddenly last June. Lewis Jones served on the city council for 36 years. He also served as mayor from 1982 to 1984 and as vice mayor from 2001 to 2018 and was appointed interim mayor for several months in 2018. When I was first elected to city council in 2004, Lewis took me under his wing as a mentor and a very close friendship was formed. Over the years, Lewis led many organizations throughout Hampton Roads including the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission, the Bay Bay Bayfront Advisory Commission, the City's Development Authority, and Minority Business Council, just to say a few. He was also in instrumental in bringing the Lake Gaston Pipeline project to Virginia Beach. Lewis was affectionately known by many as Mr. Bayside, and that nickname was very well deserved. His love for his district and the entire city was clearly evident through his decades of service. 
He was hard at work campaigning for what would have been his ninth term on city council when his untimely passing occurred. In December, in honor of his tremendous contributions to our city, council voted unanimously to change the name of Bayside Recreation Center to the Lewis R. Jones Bayside Recreation Center. It was a true pleasure and honor to work along Lewis for those years. And although he is greatly missed, the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach is a much better place because of him. Would the family of Lewis Jones please stand to be recognized? Our resident satisfaction survey showed that Virginia Beach exceeds the regional and national averages for effective communications with the public, and we are very proud of that. What we've learned from residents is that it is important to you to have opportunities to participate in city policy development and decision making. In 2022, we deployed 13 surveys where nearly 6,000 city residents provided their input on a variety of survey topics. In 2024, our city council has a big decision facing them. And again, we want to hear from you. How do you want to select your city council and school board representatives? A decision on a preferred election system must be made by city council before the 2024 election. This is your opportunity to provide input on city policy development and decision making. Join in the conversation with the University of Virginians, Virginia's Weldon Cooper Center for Public Service either virtually or in person, starting March 25th through April 3rd. Go to speakupvb.com to find the most convenient location and time for you. We're all aware of the toll that COVID-19 took on the entire world. And during that time, our city council approved more than $20 million in funding to support the Virginia Beach Pandemic Relief Partnership, which provided essential resources to residents, businesses, and nonprofit organizations. The success of that relief partnership laid the foundation for VB Thrive, which was launched in July 2022, thanks to the support of a three-year, $15 million grant from the city with funding that came from the American Rescue Plan Act. Through the United Way of Southampton Roads, VB Thrive is providing services to the more than 50,000 families in Virginia Beach who continue to struggle due to the long-term impacts of the pandemic and do not qualify for state or federal government assistance. The new VB Thrive Center opened at the Myra E. Orbendorf Central Library. VB Thrive supports these individuals and families with mentoring, housing, workforce readiness, and wraparound services, including in-depth coaching that guide participants on their permanent self-sufficiency. So far, there's been more than 450 referrals to the VB Thrive community partners, which include Catholic Charities of Eastern Virginia, Independence Center, Virginia Beach Community Development Corporation, the Urban League of Hampton Roads, and the Hampton Roads Workforce Council. And to date, more than 270 participants have enrolled in VB Thrives. $3.5 million in grants have been provided to 180 local businesses. $610,000 in grants will be provided to 61 nonprofits. This critical funding and services are part of the city's continued efforts to support those in our community who are hardest hit by the pandemic. Virginia Beach was not exempt from the harsh impacts that the pandemic brought to our city. Years from now, when the pandemic is looked back upon, it will be noted how we all navigated through a period of time like no other. And you may have heard me say more than once that anyone would be hard pressed to name a city that came through the global pandemic much better than we did right here in Virginia Beach. And I believe one of those most telling indicators of how well our city managed during the pandemic is to look at the continued success of our school system. For the 14th consecutive year, Virginia Beach City Public Schools has continued to maintain record levels with respect to on-time graduation, which stands at 95% and a low dropout rate below 
With those metrics, our schools outperform the Commonwealth's averages in both on-time graduation and dropout rates. Our public school system is key to the success of future generations for Virginia Beach. Let's all please recognize our school board members, school superintendent, our educator, educators, school counselors, and everyone in our public schools community. High performance schools are one of the main factors that contribute to a good quality of life here in Virginia Beach. We as part of the city's leadership team always aims to have a clear understanding of how residents feel about life here in our city. And we've collected some pretty impressive metrics to tell the story. Feelings from our 2022 resident survey revealed that 91% of residents rate the quality of life in Virginia Beach as either good or excellent. 90% of residents rated Virginia Beach as an excellent or good place to live, which is significantly higher than most other cities. And 81% of residents rate Virginia Beach as an excellent place or a great place to raise their children. Also, in the Old Dominion University Life in Hampton Roads 2022 Quality of Life Survey, 85% of our residents rated their quality of life in Virginia Beach as good or excellent. These are just a few examples of our fantastic scores that we've received from our residents. And here's just a notable best of list that we've landed on over the past year from various groups across the nation. The last accolade you, that was featured in the video you just acknowledged are high standing among the safest large cities in America. And that ranking is one of the most important for us. As you can see, Virginia Beach's reputation remains among the best across the nation. And we, con we are constantly working on ways to maintain that standard and enhance the quality of life for all of our residents. One of the ways we're doing this is through the Mayor's Youth Violence Prevention Task Force, 
which is led by Vice Mayor Rosemary Wilson and co-chair by former Virginia Beach Police Chief Jim Severa and Pastor Michael Daniels of the Enoch Baptist Church. This task force is part of a larger effort between the regional leaders to combat violence in our cities. At a key it is a key strategy that the city will implement this summer, which with the help of the task force is Parks After Dark program. In June through August, our Parks and Recreation Department will offer a safe, family-friendly environment for residents to participate in expanded recreational programming and athletic activities, along with access to local resources and employment opportunities. In addition to creating a safe place for residents to enjoy, Parks After Dark has been effective in increasing physical activity, building social cohesion and trust, and providing a framework for serving communities, all good things for our city. I'm really excited that the City Council has adopted this program, and I know it'll make a positive impact on our city. So come out this summer and join us for some family fun. Although it's always reaffirming to be counted among the best in the nation in so many different areas, our city has never rested on its laurels, but instead has maintained a consistently forward-thinking approach to the betterment of life for the residents of Virginia Beach. 2022 saw the advancement of several major initiatives that the city is collaborating on to provide even more enhancements to life in Virginia Beach. Not long after our State of the, State of the City address last year, the groundbreaking was held for a new 119-mile fiber optic network ring that will connect residents to faster internet. In collaboration with the Southside Network Authority and neighboring cities in Hampton Roads, the Open Access Regional Connectivity Ring will connect cities to the transoceanic subsea cables and help to eliminate the digital divide throughout the region by ensuring the availability of equal, affordable, broadband access. The Regional Connectivity Ring will serve as the foundation for smart region development for the south side cities of Hampton Roads. That kind of digital capacity and connectivity is just one of the factors that attracts and keeps businesses in Virginia Beach. To continue attracting new businesses, we have to remain agile and reimagine our business offerings to fit current needs and those of future generations. In addition to the Hive Business Resource Center, Virginia Beach has a bio accelerator that supports biomedical and life science companies and the International Incubator, which assists international companies with establishing a presence right here in Virginia Beach. To add to our growing list of businesses, assist facilities, we have the Department of Economic Development, which designed a plan for an industrial incubator. This incubator will provide office space along with manufacturing and warehouse space for industrial businesses that will be located right here. These specialized facilities are all part of the city's ongoing intention to foster new business in this city and increase the diversity of our business offerings within Virginia Beach. In 2022, businesses invested over $286 million in new capital investments. More than 800 jobs were created in our city and several existing com companies are boldly expanding their presence here. Global Links, a cable landing station provider is developing the first subsea carrier neutral station in Virginia Beach to support the transoceanic subsea cables. Global Links has begun construction on four subsea bore pipes in the Sandbridge area of our city, and this investment will further Virginia Beach's goal of becoming the highest capacity digital port on the eastern seaboard. Drone Up, the drone technology and flight services com company that we featured at last year's State of the City will service more than 150 Walmart stores by June of 2024, with a goal of eventually serving all 4,000 Walmart retail stores across the United States. Although DroneUp has experienced significant growth, the company has opted to keep its corporate headquarters here in our city 
and they plan to expand their base of operations by investing $7 million and adding 510 new jobs to our community. Sanyo, a multinational manufacturing technology company whose North American headquarters is located right here in Virginia Beach, evaluated other options, including relocating to Florida and Tennessee. But they chose to remain in Virginia Beach and plan to invest over $3 million to expand their headquarters and create 40 new jobs and nearly double the square footage of their current space. Still, the well-known German manufacturer of handheld power equipment plans to invest around $50 million to expand its manufacturing facility in Virginia Beach. This will increase their existing space to a total of 86,000 square feet upon completion and create 15 new jobs in the city. Drona, Sanjo, Steel, along with seven other Virginia Beach businesses that are all members of my Mayor's Manufacturer Roundtable. This group of highly regarded businesses, business leaders come together and share knowledge and discuss ideas aimed at the betterment of their industry, and I appreciate their participation. Yes, a diverse variety of large-scale business activity in our city shows that Virginia Beach always has an eye toward the future. To that end, our Department of Economic Development is partnering with Naval Station Oceana on another major project taking shape the Future Based Design Initiative. Future Based Design has the potential to create business development opportunities that will strengthen our local economy. I also had the great honor to attend the change of command and retirement ceremony at Oceana a few weeks ago. So I'd like to congratulate Captain Robert Holmes as retirement of the commanding officer of NAS Oceana. Bob, we wish you fair winds and following seas on your next journey. And I'd like, also like to offer congratulations to Captain Steven Chudnanti, who assumed the command at NAS o Oceana. Captain Jahani was unable to join us today, but Captain Holmes and other members of military leadership, please stand up and be recognized. In speaking about the future, the city also remains focused on doing work today that will benefit our residents for years to come. Work on our comprehensive flood protection program is moving full steam ahead, with some projects set to be completed by the end of this year. Also, the city has received over $40 million in federal grants from FEMA, the National Coastal Resilience Fund, and the Community Flood Protection Fund to help complete some of these projects. Work on the flood protection program will continue for the next several years, but each year brings our city closer to a new level of sustainability and resiliency that is essential for coastal living. Another very important project that the city is diligently working on is the design and construction of a permanent 531 memorial to honor and remember those we lost, the survivors, and those affected on May 31st of 2019. The 531 Memorial has compassionately taken on the procedural and emotional lab labor involved with seeing this project through completion and ensuring that every consideration is taken into account to make this memorial a place of remembrance, healing, and comfort those who visit it. A site for the memorial has been selected at the corner of Princess Anne and Nemo Parkway. Through a request for qualifications process, two design firms were selected to develop proposals. The conceptual design proposals are currently in the review phase, and the committee continues to gather input from the families and the community. A survey is available on speakupvb.com to vote for your preferred.
Department of Cultural Affairs, Economic Development, and Parks and Recreation. Everyone in the city involved in the development of this memorial is painstakingly working their way through this process, and I cannot overstate our sincere appreciation and gratitude for them all. Also, Sentara and the city have decided to extend the VB Strong Center program, which will continue our commitment to support the needs of survivors and first responders in the aftermath of the 531 tragedy. Sentara has been an essential partner with the city throughout the years, and I'd like to th thank and congratulate Dennis Mathis on being named President and CEO of Sentara Healthcare. Dennis served nearly five years as present, president of Sentara Health Plans and executive vice president of Sentara Healthcare during a time of extensive growth. With 27 years of experience and senior leadership within the healthcare industry, we know Sentara is in very capable hands and looking forward to it continuing a successful relationship. Dennis, please stand and welcome. And congratulations also to Nika Ch Chelizor, a member of the Virginia Beach Development Authority, on her promotion to Hampton Roads Market Vice President for Cox Communications. Nika, this career spans 20 years in operations, corporate leadership roles, and communications industry experience, and we congratulate and her continued success on her new role. Nika, please stand up. I'd also like to take the moment to recognize a few others here today for their serious commitment to helping our communities. Real estate development company, the Franklin Johnson Group, is currently completing construction on their third affordable apartment housing community in Virginia Beach. Combined, these communities provide more than 300 units of affordable apartments and 30 to 40 years of continuous affordability for low to moderate income households, guaranteed through restrictive covenants and promissory notes with the city of Virginia Beach. The Franklin Johnson Group has been an excellent partner with the city, and we thank them for their ongoing commitment to creating affordable housing for our residents. Here today represent the, is Taylor Franklin, president of Franklin Johnson Group. Thank you. Someone, someone else who has stood up to serve and support many in our city throughout the toughest of times is Tony DeVilcestro, founder of Why Not Enterprises. After receiving a request to feed one family in need, Tony used his available resources as a successful restaurateur to provide over, listen to this, 200,000 meals over a six month period to families, first responders, residents at retired and nursing homes, doctor's offices, police stations, hospitals, and wherever there was a need. We are so fortunate to have people like Tony and his dedicated team to help out our great city during the toughest of times. Thank you, Tony. Would you please stand up and say thank you? We are fortunate that our city is home to some of the best businesses and business leaders in the region. The developers who built the original Pembroke Mall more than 55 years ago conceived the first enclosed shopping mall in Hampton Roads, and it was only the 16th mall in the country. Now it's the site of the biggest project currently underway in our central business district, the Pembroke Square Redevelopment Project. The city plays a role in supporting this new mixed-use destination for residents and visitors that will include retail, a senior living community, luxury apartments, and, new, and a new-to-market hotel. With this evolution into Pembroke Square, this new development will continue to serve as a special gathering place for those who live, work, and visit throughout the Central Business District for decades to come. Town Center will also be the location of a new educational facility as well, Old Dominion's new Institute of Data Science. 
The project, a collaboration between ODU, Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Laboratory, and the NASA Langley Research Center, will offer undergraduate data science programs specializing in cybersecurity and maritime engineering. The facility will... <laughs> The facility would also include a wind energy lab. The Institute of Data Science will allow for work across all three institutions and collaborations with researchers from the national laboratories. This groundbreaking work will be taking place right here in Virginia Beach. Those are even more reasons that people from all over are so attracted to Virginia Beach. Another key attraction is Virginia Beach Sports Center which continues to produce amazing results. Since its opening in 2020, the Sports Center has held over 160 events with 212,000 athletes participating and more than 285,000 spectators attending sports events. Our Sports Center is the newest and largest indoor sports complex on the East Coast and continues to host athletes and visitors from all over the country year round. In tourism economics report that Virginia Beach tourism, travel and meetings and conventions has helped to generate over 31,000 jobs and create a $3.3 billion impact on our economy. Yeah. <laughs> And as you know, each year we like to up the ante on world-class events and other attractions. And this year is no different. Just last week, the announcement was made that the Beyond Van Gogh art exhibit will be right here in this convention center this summer from July through September. This traveling immersive art experience of over 300 works by Vincent Van Gogh has been an enormous success internationally and in other major U.S. cities such as Chicago, Los Angeles, and Boston. And I think the event will prove to be just as popular here as it was all over the world. In addition to our legacy events, we have an incredible lineup of some exciting, brand new experiences that are going to make an entertaining summer at the oceanfront. Hey, what's up everybody? I am Tony Hawk and I'll be in Virginia Beach for the Jackalope Action Sports Festival to do a vert showdown with some of my legendary friends. Jackalope is free to the public, so don't miss out. Book your hotel and find more info at jackalopefest.com. That's right, in April we'll have the Bulls and Barrels Beach Rodeo and the return of something in the water. And in June, Jackalope Fest makes its U.S. debut here in Virginia Beach, followed by the Beach It Country Music Festival, edge of your seat seat bull riding and barrel racing, world-class action sports competitions, and a lot of amazing music experiences will take place in Virginia Beach for everyone to enjoy this year. And I'll tell you, we have a guest that came from Canada Micah DeGeorge came down from Jackalope to be with us just for today. Can we say hello to him? <laughs> and
And we invite everyone to join in on the fun throughout the entire season. Over the first 60 years of this city, so many innovative ideas took shape to make Virginia Beach into the thriving and successful place that it is today. And as I've said before, no mayor can accomplish anything on his or her own. I want to acknowledge my wife, Trish, for being my active partner in my success and who keeps me going. It also takes the hard work of many groups of talented and dedicated people to come together to make the dreams the founders had for this city come to fruition. Our great city council, our dynamic city manager, and the entire staff throughout the organization. All the people that work here, live here, and have their businesses here, and so many other play an important role in the continued unity, community, and prosperity of this amazing city we call home. Serving as mayor of this great city is a true honor and privilege that brings me such joy. Why? Because we are growing. We are thriving. This is who we are. We are 60 years strong. Let's continue to look ahead toward the next 60 years and beyond with fresh vision and innovation for our city of Virginia Beach. Thank you and God bless you for being here.